For months each year, it is a familiar sight to millions in Bangladesh. Dirty black clouds of smoke pouring from the chops of chimneys throughout the country. The toxic mix of carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and ash that gush from brick kilns here are a threat to the health of those working beneath them, neighbouring communities and the global environment. Yet it is also a sign of a booming construction industry spurred by Bangladesh's rapid urbanisation. Every year, 866 crore or 8.6 billion bricks are produced here and the demand is rising steadily at about 5.28% per year. The brick-making industry in Bangladesh remains largely unregulated and unmonitored. More than 90% of the country's brick kilns continue to use 150-year-old technology, a colonial technological legacy that is highly energy intensive and dirty. Production costs are high and quality is poor. And while the kilns do provide work in this competitive labour environment, in traditional kilns, production is seasonal, meaning a precarious employment situation for workers. And traditional kilns create a precarious environmental situation as well. Energy inefficient, they require tremendous amounts of fuel to run, and at present, 33% of kilns use firewood, a significant cause of deforestation in Bangladesh, where the natural resource base is already stretched. Traditional brickmaking is also one of the largest sources of greenhouse gas emissions in Bangladesh, estimated to be in the order of 6 million tonnes of CO2 annually. Along with the rapid growth of brick industry, the direct carbon emissions from kilns will rise to 8.7 million tonnes annually by 2014, bringing with it not only environmental, but health effects too. It is a toxic mix, but not without solutions. UNDP, with support from the Global Environment Facility, has recently begun a new project, improving efficiency in the brickmaking industry, to demonstrate and deliver change in this vital sector. The challenge for us with this necessity of brick making industry is how to make this industry less um, environmentally polluting and also less emitting for greenhouse gas um, gases. Um, with this um, UNDP supported project, we are introducing hybrid Hoffman clean technology, which is less resource intensive, more energy efficient, and also is an emitting less um, the greenhouse gas. Most of the fuel used in the hybrid Hoffman kilns is completely burnt during firing, drastically reducing energy needs and usage. This also has the effect of reducing the production costs of the bricks. Hot air is directed into the tunnel from the annular kiln that dries green bricks and prohibits greenhouse gas emission. The dried bricks are then loaded manually into the annual kiln and burnt. The higher quality bricks that are produced in the hybrid Hoffman kilns are more resource efficient and environmentally friendly. Project figures show that a single kiln running on the new technology will reduce fuel requirements and will produce 15 million bricks and cut carbon emission by 5,000 tonnes a year. The existing outmoded technology requires around 23 tonnes of coal to produce just 100,000 bricks. Through the demonstration kilns that the project is supporting, and sustain policy advocacy and engagement with the private sector, the project is designed to remove barriers to the widespread adoption of these resource efficient kilns and build more energy efficient practices in the brick making industry. For growing Bangladesh, hungry for bricks to supply building sites across the country, this change is a positive one. The harmful smoke that has for over a century been a seasonal feature is making way for a development innovation that is balancing the needs of people and the environment in ways that benefit all.